Let's take a much needed break from the old fish room and go check out Pittsburgh's PPG Aquarium. Welcome back fellow reefers to another Pittsburgh Reef Junkie video. If you are new here, my name is Sean and this is where we take reefing one day at a time. Today we are taking a much needed break. It's warm outside and what a better way to spend time with my family than heading out to the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. Last week we talked about our bare bottom tank and the issues it's created and I need a much needed step away from my reef tank. Recharge the batteries. So let's go see what this aquarium in Pittsburgh has to offer. Mm -hmm. If you have never been to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and you are planning to come, the zoo and aquarium are a really nice outing. It's located in Highland Park, minutes from downtown Pittsburgh. Now, I'm not going to include footage or photos of land animals because mm -hmm. this is a reefing channel. However, I am going to include a scene of the penguins because they are the point where fresh water turns to salt water. Fresh water being first. So here we are at PPG Aquarium and before you enter you get a view of the coral propagation from outside. While not extensive from this view, they may have this as a display only and have something bigger where we can't see where they grow coral for conservation or their displays. Next to it, a very cool look at their Sea Turtle Second Chance program, which is their rescue program for loggerhead sea turtles. Now, I would love to have a sea turtle, but we all know that they're endangered, so that absolutely will never happen. Once you enter the aquarium, the first display you see is this round aquarium filled with freshwater angelfish, mm -hmm. barbs, and a lot of common fish you can purchase in the freshwater hobby. Mm -hmm. This display years ago was so much more impressive when it was filled with leafy sea mm -hmm. dragons. It used to be one of my favorite tanks to view. Mm -hmm. Other than for this video, I usually just pass it by without a thought now. Mm -hmm. As you begin down the hall, you see game fish like trout and smallmouth bass. If you're an avid fisherman, you will love this section, absolutely. Moving along, they have some larger pond type of displays with additional freshwater fish like clown loaches and these colorful fish, which I did not catch the type that they were, possibly African cichlids, I don't know. Comment below if you know what kind they are. Up ahead, you get a good view of a very large blue lobster. Now, we are getting closer to the saltwater section, and I do believe they model this section after cold water oceans. Mm -hmm. But I just absolutely love the setup for this display. It would be my dream tank mm -hmm. if I could do it. I just love the overhead view. Behind me at this setup are the penguins. Being that Pittsburgh's pro hockey team are the Pittsburgh Penguins, they have a home right here in Pittsburgh. Now we're finally here, the saltwater section. And starting off, they have a very nice display of moon jellyfish. Do any of you in the reefing community have a jellyfish display? I know they need specialized aquariums. I'm not sure of the care requirements, but that would be a very unique aquarium display in any home. Up ahead is a display with my favorite type of wrasse, the leopard wrasse, which I need to get soon in my reef tank. And he's sitting in here with his buddy, the sea urchin. I took a photo of this next display. I believe they're prepping it for a seahorse habitat. There used to be a display at one time with seahorses, but there were none there this time. I'm curious if later in the year you see them in this display. Up next is our massive reef tank, and I'm conflicted about this tank. I believe a zoo could have done so much more with this, but we see some yellow tangs, 
which are currently through the roof cost wise mm -hmm. with the band in Hawaii. Beautiful flame angel, purple tangs, damselfish, mm -hmm. and a massive clam. Now, I think a zoo could have done much more with this as far as mm -hmm. corals and beautiful colonies. I personally think a lot of reefers tanks are so much better, mm -hmm. and this is a public aquarium. So, fellow reefers, take pride in your reef tank if you know it's better mm -hmm. than this because they have a way much bigger budget than we do. Next up, mm -hmm. I took a video of this display because I'm curious what they plan to do with it. It's a very cool setup, and I wonder if they're using metal halide or Kessels to illuminate this. My guess would be metal halide just from the size of this display. We're getting to the sharks now, and this guy was so nice to see. I once had a marble cat shark like this guy, and sadly, he jumped out of my tank while I was at work, and I found him a little bit too late when I got home. I grew him from a baby up to 24 inches in length. I miss that guy, which is why I made my DIY mesh top. This tank coming up is the larger shark tank. It's two stories tall and just massive. It houses black tip reef sharks and zebra sharks. And of course, this guy right here, the epaulette shark. Moving around the pathway, we get to the lower level, which has an enormous display for red tail catfish and paku. And behind me, you find a very cool feature, a petting pole for stingrays. Underneath, there are tunnels to crawl through for kids with mm -hmm. an underwater view. But yeah, I, I wasn't about to try it. So this was a very nice beginning of a spring day out with my family to the PPG Aquarium. A much needed break. Mm -hmm. And if you are looking to get one of our Reef Junkie t-shirts, the link is below. There are t-shirts, hoodies, ladies t-shirts. Also, we are going to be uh, having some bags, which are great for frag shows or anything else you can think of. Click right here if you want to know how I got into reefing on this video. So, until then, we'll see you on the next one.